G'day everyone, Tim from the vMix here. Today we're going to take a quick look at how you can bring in live data using the data sources option in vMix. Now each week we do a petrol price live stream of the local petrol price sign that we can see out of our window. Why? Why not? We like to include some weather information on the stream and display it in the top corner up here. Now it's pulling in live temperature information as well as displaying an icon for the current weather conditions. As you can see, it is currently 26 and sunny. Now there are plenty of reasons to bring in live data to a production, so this might inspire you to start adding your own live data into your production. Now I'm going to jump over to my work PC now to show you the process. And if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, you might think of it as data, live data sources. All right, here I am now in my work PC, or at least using my work PC to bring in my two NDI cameras of the petrol price sign. I wanna make this production a little bit more exciting with some live weather information. Firstly, I need to work out how I'm gonna get live weather information into my production. So I'm gonna to have to find a source for it. I've gone ahead and signed up to weatherapi.com, which is a service that allows you to bring in live and historical weather data to things like applications and websites. I'm using the free tier at the moment just to show you how it all works, but they have different pricing structures depending on how many API calls and information that you might require from them. There are plenty of APIs on the World Wide Web that will offer different information to you, as well as different pricing structures and interfaces, but this is what I'm going to show you as an example today. So I've already signed up for an account which will give me an API key. Now this is really important because I need to authenticate with the API service in order for them to give me back the data that I've asked for. So I'm going to use this API key here, I'm gonna copy it, and I'm going to use that to generate the XML file that I can use in vMix. Now each interface for the API is going to be different. This one has a thing called API response fields, which is pretty handy so I can specify the exact content that I want from them. For example, I, I want the temperature in Celsius, I want a little icon that'll show me a cloud or a sun as a PNG for the weather condition. Uh, I want fields like Celsius. I don't need all of this additional stuff, so if you've got a lot of uh, API fields, it can make it a little bit hard to narrow down. So sometimes it's better if you've got the option to select them individually, and that way it makes it a little bit easy to specify what you want to display. All right, so now I'm gonna to go to the API Explorer section, and then I'm going to add my API key so I can generate this XML file. So I'm gonna paste that in here, select the protocol, and the format today I'm going to be using XML. Now you can also add in another field here which will change the location of the weather so that it will query the Gold Coast weather. And then down the bottom here, I wanna click show response in order to generate the XML file. Okay, cool. So now weatherapi.com has given me an XML file that I can use to create data in vMix. So I just copy and paste this XML file up the top here, and I'm gonna put that in vMix. So now I'm gonna show you this response body section down the bottom here, which is very important because we need to be able to specify what content that we wanna grab in vMix. So I'm gonna go along this line here. Now you will find a section here, this tag is called current. Now I wanna grab all of the information that is in this current tag. So that includes the temperature in Celsius. It includes the icon that we wanna have, the cloud or the sun. And then it has the feels like in Celsius and it has the UV rating. And as you can see here, it says end current tag. So by using an X path, we can specify to display all of these things within the current section, which is important in vMix to, to grab that specific data. All right, so now let's head back to vMix and try this all out. In order to access the data sources manager, we just need to go down to the hamburger menu, and click on data sources manager, then click on plus to add a new data source. So we've selected XML today, and then I'm gonna paste in that XML address. And now we need to specify the data location. So I'm gonna go slash slash, and then go current. And so what that's going to do is gonna bring in all that content within those current tags in the XML. Click OK. And there we go. We now have different fields that we can use in our titles. We've got the 25, which is the temperature. We have the condition, which is that little image for the cloud or the sun or the rain. And then we have the feels like 26 degrees and a UV of five. So that's uh, how we bring in that content. Now on this screen here, we also have an important thing in the bottom right hand corner, which is going to be how often you update your data. So I'm gonna make this pretty high because I don't need real time data. If you need real time, you need to make this lower. If you wanna make this longer because you don't wanna pay for extra API calls, you can set this to a higher number as well if you want. So that's set up now. Now what we can do is add these to a title template. 
or we can create our own GT title for these fields. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do now. Now let's go back down to the hamburger menu and you will notice that this is now red and red means that you have an active data source. So that's important in case you were like, why are my API calls so high? You may want to turn that off or delete that particular data source. All right, now let's just go to GT title designer. What I'm going to do now is just really quickly create a title for this weather. I'm going to add a text at the top. All right, let's go ahead and add a field for the temperature. Now I'm just going to add an image. It's just going to be a placeholder for the image that I want to use in that little icon that is provided to me via the API. So I'm just going to put that over here. All right, and down the bottom here, I'm just going to add some text. Um, just a call back to the weather API. All right, now I'm just going to save this quickly. And now we're in vMix again. I can go ahead and add that title. We go to the title section. If you've used something into the GT Title Designer recently and saved it, it'll be in this recent tab here. Click on this, click OK. And now we can start editing the title fields. So what I want to do is go to this temp one here, which is the temperature. And then we're going to go to data sources to align it to the degrees Celsius that we've selected. All right, so the data source we have is this XML file here. The column is the temperature in Celsius. And now you can see we now have 25 degrees here. And we want to make this a little bit more obvious. So what I'm going to do is add after the actual content, which are in these brackets here, I'm going to add a degrees Celsius. So now it'll bring in the number from the API, then it will add the degrees Celsius after it. Click OK, and we've got 25 degrees Celsius. Great. Let's just bring that up there. 25 degrees. It's appeared. Now we'll go to the images section and we'll actually set it to that icon they provide us. So we go back to the data source, go to XML and select the condition. Now, as you can see here, we have a slash slash CDN. So that's the information for the particular condition that it is. However, we need to make sure that this is a usable address. So what we want to do is before this call here, we want to add HTTPS and that is going to colon and then it's going to fill in the rest here. So we've got slash slash CDN. So that will display the image. We'll click OK. So as you can see, we have a little sun with some clouds. It's not quite cloudy, but it's kind of cloudy. So um, yeah, that's it. We've got all this information here ready to go. Close this out. And as you can see, we now have the weather. We have 25 degrees Celsius and we have a little sun there. So that's a really quick example of how you can use data sources to grab information from an API. Data sources are available in all of the versions of vMix if you want to give it a whirl. Thanks for joining us on this video today. If you're using data sources in a really cool way, or if you're even using them in a boring way, feel free to drop us a comment so we can check out how you're using data sources in your production. Now, if you want to give vMix a try, you can head to vMix.com, go to our download page, and we have a free 60-day trial. Now, if you do have any questions about vMix or anything like that, you can check out our other videos, or you can send us an email via the support page, again, on vmix.com. Now, as data sources can be quite tricky, please send us an email as we're not going to be able to do technical support in the comments here. Thanks for watching, and we will stream you later.